Are the bushings bugged? No, they're fixed now. The bushings are fine. Do you have something beeping in the background? Yeah, the beeping noise is whenever... Whenever the phone, this thing here, which contains all the orders that you can do. So in a minute's time, that one would disappear. Another one will appear like that, and it goes beep, beep. That's the noise that you can hear. Wait, that was a nice car. That was a... That's blatantly a Range Rover Evoke. Lack of engine power, find and fix all engine problems, brake problems, replace time and related parts. Wowzers. Quite nice. Put white walls on the Mazda. Uh, jab gone. I don't know, dude. Okay, we want the clip A. How many clips do we need? Clip A, clip A. Two of those. White walls and a mask would look incredible. Yeah, I don't know if it'll let you fit whatever ties you want, though. I have no idea. Ignition distributor. This is like insane, isn't it? The amount of work you have to do to do this. Just the parts list. Like once you've got the parts list, you can start building it, but... Carburetor. Carb for a V8. O H V F. You can try it for science. V six B power steering pump intake. Manifold or rock B Lord Imperius, how you doing? Get the axle stuff for now. Crankshaft counterweight. Yeah, boy. Brake pads. Brake disc. Repair cost zero. Intake manifold for a rock B. Oh, just made that worse. <laughs> Scumbag. Good evening, Kiwi. Wrong part, it's not a V8. Ah, so that could be something... That's true, it's not a V8. So what the heck do we want that for? That must have been a part we had lying around then. I thought I'd sold all the junk. Clips, forget them. Ignition distributor. Oh yes, that's a good repair. Ignition distributor. Done. Clutch plate. Ah. Can't win them all. Oh, uh, can you use any time room of the correct dimensions? Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Thank you for the host service. Your FPS is way too low in this game. It, try, just come out and go back in again whenever the FPS is bad. Because it does seem to have a memory leak that causes the FPS to drop. I've seen that. Distributor rotor. Yeah boy, 100% repair. Distributor rotor not needed.
So this carburetor we don't need then. Don't know where this has come from. Let's get rid of it. Power steering pump from a V6B. Power steering pump from a V6B is $114. You pull the V8 carb off of the rotary. That was on the car it said V8. Yeah, well one guy just said you didn't you don't have a V8. Which we don't. We don't have a V8, do we? So how does that work? It was a carb V8 OHVF is what it was. Happy this one. Natter. So you're saying we need that then? You had a V8 one installed for whatever reason. <laughs> Why have I got a V8 carb on a on a rotary wankle engine then? Dennis FGS, thank you for ten months. Oh, uh, ten. So we need that. I don't know if you can swap it out for another. I don't know either. Well, I'll I'll get it back then. I'll get it back so we've got it. We'll see. And what did I just buy? Steering. Steering pump V8B, steering pump V8B. Let's get rid of that one. Right, let's let's go back to the car and have ten frames per second. Save it. Let's go in here and see what we've got. We have a 99%, so we know we can put that in. Oh my god, the frames. What have I done to the car, NPR? What do you mean, what have I done to it? Renovating. Got the frame rate, one sec. We're going to have to go to settings, save. Settings. Exit. And then come back in again. That's on a GTX 1080 Ti. <laughs> it's like 10 FPS. Spent 17 on the shop, not counting what you've sold, Daniel. That's not bad, to be fair. There you go, you get your frames back now. <laughs> Memory leak. Okay, let's go back inside. Rear housing rot A. That's in 69%. That's fine. But the other one... This is on 49%, which I'm not happy about. We said minimum 50. Let's see if we can fix that. Rotor housing rot A, done. We got lucky on that. Slowly, it's getting an engine back. Rotor rot A, that can go in. That can go in as well, 69%. The rear housing block. 
69 percent it's good front side housing oh that's on the cusp isn't it a 50 percent Uh, I can't get it resprayed, Sugar Glider Dude, because I don't have a respray facility at the moment. So I don't think it's something we can do. Intake manifold, rot B is rip. I don't have an oil filter. Let's see if we can repair the intake manifold. If we can find it. If you spray in pink. Oh, I don't know which oil filter I need. I'm guessing it's going to be for a rotary. Okay, we've got an oil filter. Rock and roll. Intake manifold recently fixed by us. That's where the carb sits, wasn't it? Carburetor V8 OHV. Yeah, it is. Look. How bizarre is that? It takes a V8 carb. <laughs> Alternator is 57%. The water pump, I don't think we looked at that. 61%, that's fine. Crankshaft counterweight. All good. Flywheel. I think we bought a brand new flywheel. Did we buy spark plugs yet? 100% on that one. 100% on that one. 62% on that one and just coming in at 50% <laughs> just hitting the criteria sprocket it's going in timing chain is good idle roller B got one of those Getting there. It's starting to look a bit more like a car. It wants to put the timing cover on now. Okay. Arm A. B's all good. Crankshaft pulley for a V8. Uh, we didn't buy these yet, I don't think. That's fine. The belt's actually fine. The rolls are good. Arm rot B is good. Ignition distributor. I think we sorted the rotor out as well. Yes, we did. Cap is just about okay. The ignition leads, I know for a fact, are just below 50%, I think. Hey, Arrivance. Yeah, 49% on the ignition wires for the Rot B. Power steering pump is brand new, so that can go in. Let's see if we can fix these wires. That's it, we're using toolbox or numbers on the very bottom of those numbers tell you what level the row of upgrades is unlocked at. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that, the, the numbers on the bottom. Thank you. Ignition wires, there we go, fixed. So you just need a bit of WD-40 on those, they're all good. Okay. Let's get my... Filter can go in. Whew. 
Air filter cover's not looking tasty at all, is it? Do you think that's a repairable item? Okay. Brake servo is full on rip. How's the rotor building going? Not bad. Where's the brake servo? It's on 24% or something. There it is, 21%. Well, it's on zero now. <laughs> I guess we don't know how to repair brake servos. $256. Zero back. We completely broke it. Oh yeah, clips on the cover, that's actually... Actually, I need to put new... I need to get new clips. Because I think the ones we have are a bit rubbish. We'll just buy three clips. I think they're cheap. Clip A and clip B. What? Get off. Dang it! I need three clip A's. I was, I was guessing that I needed two of A and one of B. Okay, we've got the clips in there. Um, what else have we got? Let's go down here. We've got to sort out the flywheel. All the clutch and everything as well. Flower wheel's good. Let's see. Clutch pressure plate is fine. The clutch plate and the release bearing are completely rip. Bearing will get $33 and the which one was broken? I've forgotten now. Clutch plate. $85. It's an old clutch set in this game, one. I don't I don't think so by the look of it. Flywheel's got to be from underneath. There's still a belt missing off the engine, Alan. Um, okay, flywheel's on. Clutch plate is on. Pressure plate is on. Release bearing is on. Gearbox is in. V8 starter. Right. We need a starter for a V8. Where's this belt then? Oh, that one. Uh, this is a car that we recovered from a, a barn. $90 for that. So we're basically trying to reassemble the car. The lols.
Okay, your starter is in. It's actually most of the engine in now. All the transmission and suspension left. Right, there's a... What do you mean accessible from the engine bay? I'm in the engine bay. Oh, radiator fan. I was going to say, I've not seen that one yet. Radiator fan for a rot B. Radiator fan for a rot B. Radiator's just about in good good enough, Nick. Radiator fan housing is good with a fan that's good. Ooh. But that is pretty much most of the engine right there. That's on ninety-four percent. We'll pop it up and put the uh, oil pan back. I'm not sure what state the oil pan's in, though. Oil pan's on 57%, so that's fine. Crankshaft missing? I hope not. Well, I don't have it on me. I doubt we could have put all those parts in without the crankshaft. Okay, the oil pan's in. Front suspension cross member, 8%. Let's see if we can repair that. tried and failed, I don't know. Uh, front suspension cross member, that's going to be that one, I believe. $475. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Brand new suspension cross member, look at that. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, Steering yeah. rack is in need of repair. 49%. Uh, Kim McCain, thank you for nine months. Custard! That sound, when Eve, you can buy something, reminds me of the original ETS I used to play on a CD, on a C2D pre built PC, no graphics card. Oh man, I remember the days of PCs with no graphics cards. Let's have a go at this. Come on. Yes. Uh, I didn't see a radiator hose risen. I've not seen that. There are some things that are not in for some reason. Okay. Now we're getting out to the suspension. Which is good. Right. 64% in a tie rod. 58% in a tie rod. Right, the front steering knuckle A, I'm not sure. Okay, one of them is rubbish. Bought this game today. Uh, no, you don't need to put the sump plug in, thumbs. What was I looking for then? 
lost my train of thought now. Knuckle. It was a knuckle, wasn't it? Um... Ah. Failed on that one. $114. One steering knuckle. Okay. We've also got the rear axle knuckle housing B. Might as well do that while we're here. See if we can get a win on them. Nope. No one knuckle be down. Maybe we'll fix the other one. I think I just went right past it. Knuckle B, where are you? Wait, what? Yes, okay. 50 50 it completely. Uh, front. No, it was a rear knuckle B, wasn't it? That one. $85. Well, this came today, got a refund, eight minutes later, can't rebind the keys, can't invert mouse. Invert the mouse? That's pretty weird. Front axle, knuckle cover. Wait, why have we got one, two, three of these front axle knuckle covers? Surely we'd need either two or four. Rebinding the keys will be useful, but I don't think it's essential. Scumbaggery. Let's see how we get on. Front axle knuckle cover. Front wheel hub. Forty-one percent outer tie rods. Very important for us lefties. Oh, to remap the buttons. Yeah, that makes sense actually. Two outer tie rods. Jump over here, camera. Thank you. Okay. Couple of A's going in. Right. I know that we've got a load of bushings to put in, so I'm going to put them in now before I forget, because I think we should have enough bushings to cover this. Seven percent, it's fine. How many do we need though? Fifty three percent. Let's do that before I forget. That's those four in. Okay, we're going to need a few more rubber bushings. At least four, I think. Just 
Johnson's a lot like a car. Piece by piece. Okay, right. Front axle, knuckle cover. So we're going to need to buy another one of those, possibly. It's coming along nicely. It is, piece by piece. 51%, it just about makes the cut. Ventilated disc makes the cut. already bought those earlier so that's good pretty certain we're going to need brake pads yep brake pads going to be needed $76 in 10 frame rates for the win happy anniversary Nutter. caliper both calipers are full on rip. Who was that? Crazy Diamond, two months for me. Yeah, bub. <laughs> Thank you, Crazy. Right. They're quite expensive, those things. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need those as well? Mm. Let me check. Yep. That in. Right, the shock absorber side of things has not been touched, but it's on 57%. However, the front shock absorber cap is only on 37 So we're going to have to take that one apart and that one apart. So we can't put those on yet. Brake disc is on 37%. That's no good. Was that ventilated? I think it was. Nice. Right, let's go and take apart. Let's actually save that because um, <laughs> I don't fancy losing all that work. Yeah, we've lost a bit of FPS again. It always seems to happen when you come out the shop. Like, if you look at it now, it's fine again. But when you jump out the shop, it seems to go, like, really weird. Get to separate these guys. We're going to need two front shop absorber caps when we're done here. It would help if I could spell absorber. Front shock absorber caps times two, $123. Okay, one of those, one of those, one of those. Reassemble. Just remember when it comes time to sell it's one lady owner. One one old lady owner, full service history. Yeah, they're expensive those, aren't they? You found seven bugs today. I'm not surprised. Let's get the shock on there. 
61, 51, 100. That's fine. It meets our criteria. I think we bought new sway bars. Yeah, we did. Ooh. It's actually looking like a car, guys. Look at this. Okay. What a beast. 